Good morning dear brothers and sisters in Christ or wherever you are, it may be a good afternoon, a good evening or maybe even a good night that you decided to just log in for 5 minutes and just listen to God's word and feed yourself with the spirit of his word before you end your day or maybe it could be the start of a day. Do you know that there were 5 miracles at the Red Sea? That's right, let me show you 5. Five miracles at the Red Sea. Why? Because most of us, when we read in Exodus, now this is from Exodus chapter 14, when we read about Exodus and we see of the army, the Egyptian army that was coming and the Israelites were all panicking and they went to Moses and goes like, oh my goodness, Moses, what's happening? Were there not enough graves? Were there not enough places for you to bury us in Egypt that you had to bring us out of this desert to die here? That's what the Israelites said. And Moses went to God and said, Oh my goodness, God, please tell me what to do. What should I do? And that's when God said, Go to the sea, begin to just strike it and just watch it see and that waters will part. Now we all know that story. We've seen countless movies on it where the Red Sea just begins to part and there's a huge wall of water on the right, on the left and this Israelite army is able to just walk through the entire sea and then the sea closes and all the Egyptians die. We all know it well. I want to encourage you today, after you finish watching this video, go to Exodus chapter 14 and read the entire chapter. It's not very long. It's only about 30 over verses. Read the entire Exodus chapter 14 and you will see that there were five miracles that happened. And I'll quickly tell you what those five miracles were. The first miracle was God parted the sea. It has never ever happened for a billion years until today. No human being can ever do that. To part, not a river, not a real drain, not a small little stream, but a huge sea to part it to the right and left. That was the first miracle. The second miracle, it says in Exodus 14, that when God parted the sea, it says the Israelites walked on dry ground. Now can you imagine, a lot of us will probably have read this and go like, oh my goodness, I didn't see this. Because God says, raise your staff, stretch out your hand into the sea to divide the waters so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Not only did God part the sea, he dried up the ground. Because when the sea parts, by right, I mean, you go to a beach, it's all going to be muddy, it's going to be soggy, there are probably stones and bricks and shells everywhere. But these Israelites were able to walk on dry ground. That's the second miracle that happened. What's the third? We know when the Israelites were in the desert, there was a pillar of cloud that followed them. And what happened as they were walking through that sea, it says the pillar of cloud was in front of the Israelites. Now imagine this, you're, I'm the Israelite, the pillar of cloud is in front of me leading the way and the Egyptians are coming behind. Third miracle that happened, the pillar of cloud moved and went behind the Israelites. When it went behind the Israelites, the pillar of cloud caused day to come for the Israelites and caused night to come for the Egyptians. Which means with that pillar of cloud that was like a division, there was light on one side and there was darkness on the other side. Because they were in darkness, they could not see anything and they could not chase those Israelites that were there. That is the third miracle that happened. The fourth miracle that happened, Eventually, when the Egyptians now start to walk on their dry ground and think that, oh, since the Israelites can do it, we can do it too. Read again in Exodus 14 and you will see, as they were walking, the Bible says, God threw the Egyptians into confusion. That means suddenly they got into, oh my goodness, what's happening? No, 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 we should do this, we should do that. And everybody started arguing with each other and there was chaos. Fourth miracle. What was the fifth miracle? These Egyptians that were chasing the Israelites and they were on their chariots, the word of God says, God caused the wheels to fall off those chariots. Five amazing miracles. I'll repeat that again. He parted the Red Sea. 
He caused them to walk on dry ground. The pillar of cloud caused day on one side and caused night on the other. It threw them into confusion and the wheels of the chariot fell off. I want to encourage you today. The God who did that miracle in Exodus is the same God that is working in your life today. If God can do all these miracles, imagine the miracle God wants to do in your life. So don't ever give up hope. Don't ever stop praying. Don't ever stop trusting because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God bless you and have a good day. Amen.